Hi Leo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Leo, this is behind the scenes on your person, all right? So once again, we're getting down like uh, like Miss Brown, right? Uh, just to kind of call out your person uh, nicely or however we do it, but we're going behind the scenes to like check on them for you, all right? <laughs> See if they're being good or not, all right? Kind of like Santa Claus does. So let's have a look here. Uh, yeah, let's get a charm for you, Leo. Show me the... Give me a charm for Leo, please. And we have the turtle. Okay, this could be... This can talk about an earth sign. Yes, it can. And it can also talk about slow and steady, like wins the race, right? You do have the king of coins here, and he is all about slow and steady. Yes, he is. He is the king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn in your reading. And it could be about somebody who has... Uh, like success, and they are ever, uh, forever perseverant, right? Like they keep going after their, uh, after it, after what it is they want. That is the king of coins, and he in this deck he is Zeus. Yeah, the Greek god Zeus. So let's see, let's get a charm for Leo's person, please, before we start the reading. And we're gonna take this one. It is the train. Okay, it looks like yeah, it's an old train here, but it could be they could be going on a trip. They could be uh, leaving, they could, they could be taking a journey, anything that has to do with the train. Maybe they work over at the railroad, maybe Union Pacific, who knows, all right? And, uh, and in, you know, modern, they could work at the subway, they could, right? So let's see what we have for uh, Leo's person. And right now, they're in this energy of the high priestess. She is known as the wisdom card here, and that wisdom card is really... Uh, that wisdom card is somebody who is uh, ever knowing, right? But it is somebody who has learned a lot. They could be a teacher. It could be somebody, a teacher who's teaching, you know, tarot or something like that. But it is somebody who has learned uh, from experience. Yeah, she's very, uh, she has a lot of wisdom and she is the all knowing uh, high priestess. And oh, it could be a Scorpio or a Piscean in, in the mix, right? Yeah, but it could be Leo. The King of Arrows is here, and he is about, uh, like, authority. Yeah, he is, and he is about kind of, uh, like, intellect, right, and decision-making, things like that, and let's see, uh, responsibility, yeah, he is, and he is also detached. He kind of, yeah, he could be a bit detached, and things don't, you know, maybe bother him so much, or uh, just kind of, you know, maybe he could be a cut-and-dry person, right? Yeah, it's hard to be that sometimes, but it's good to be that way sometimes, so things don't weigh on you so much, right? A little detached in life, kind of, right? Not so attached to the outcome, right? That's what they say in sales. Don't be so attached to the outcome. And the king of coins is in their uh, root for them. Let's see what's in the recent past for your person. The tower showing up. This could be Scorpio. So we have only Major Arcana or Core cards here. This is a heavy reading. What's on their mind, Leo, is going to be the Five of Swords. In the near future for them is the Magician. Wow. This could be an Aries. Page of Wands is their concern. Their, the, for me, the Page of Wands is a journey. Like, it's a new path or a new direction. This is what they are... Uh, what's in their concern. And occasionally this can be a message or a communication. Uh, it can be sometimes. The page can come to you with like, they can be messengers. But for me, the page of wands is typically a new path. So let's see. In their environment is the queen of pentacles. So above the queen is the king. This is the coins, pentacles. They are the same. And this is Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Leo, your person could definitely be an earth sign, right? Maybe they are Pisces or Scorpio here, the Wisdom card. Maybe they are Aries over here. And they could be, uh, yeah. So let's see. And maybe they are the King of Arrows who is uh, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. But you're not showing up here as of yet, right? And over on, uh, over on Vimeo, we're going to have the... Uh, the outcome, yeah, we are, and uh, what they want, what they desire, and their outcome, and the remainder of the extended, right, which is really getting getting down on them, getting deep, right? Let's look at the wisdom card and see what they are so wise about. Yeah, let's see. And this is also about, like, uh, this is authority. Let's see what they're doing here. Yeah. 
Nine of Wands. Wow, they are the wounded warrior here. Mm -hmm. They're nervous about what's going to happen next. Okay. It could be about uh, a high priestess, maybe. Maybe, or maybe they are the high priestess. Maybe they are not in this wisdom energy, so to speak, at least right now. Maybe like, you know, the most important energy or the kind of ruling energy. They could just be behaving, or I mean, they could be a Pisces or a Scorpio. Let's get a card on the King of Arrows. Why is that there for Leo's person? <clears throat> the Moon card. I feel like your person could be a water sign. The Tower is here, the Moon card, the Wisdom card, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Ten of Swords. Ouch. <clears throat> I feel like there's some type of a secret here. Mm -hmm. Your person could be, uh, they could be all-knowing here, they could, sometimes the Wisdom card or the High Priestess card, uh, her name is Shahrazadi, and Shahrazad, it is Persian or Iranian, I don't know how to pronounce it right, don't get mad you guys, I'm doing my best I can here, it's a beautiful card, and let's see, she is there with Sharivar, yeah, I think it's Sharivar or Shariar, yeah, like the Shah almost, that's, that's cool, that's interesting, right? But the Ten of Swords is here, your person, uh, Leo, is worried about an ending. I feel like that's what it is, yeah. Because they are an earth sign, or because of an earth sign, why do they have the King of Coins here? Why do they have that? Yeah, maybe they are just uh, nervous about what's going to happen next, an ending could have happened, the Ten of Swords is right here, right? But the Ten of Swords sometimes, if your person is kind of, you know, ailing from this, if they are possibly, uh, in the past they were in the tower it looks like, but if they are ailing at all, this is going to be short-lived. Like the, the worst is over, yeah, with the Ten of Swords. In their uh, root for them is the Two of Pentacles and the King of Coins. I feel like they think it's, that maybe you're going to end it with them to be with an earth sign. Could be. <clears throat> A lot of earth energy here. The Queen and the King are both here. Yeah. So let's look at the recent past for them, and they have the tower. Yeah, they do. The Six of Pentacles is showing up for them. The Ten of Cups. I feel like they had an ending to their relationship with you. Yeah, the tower, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Could have been about a third party. It doesn't have to be an ending, though. It could have been a... I feel like your person thinks things are going to end. Yeah, they think they, they could be thinking things are going to end. They're the wounded warrior over here. And they're going back and forth about it. They could think there's a secret here, but I feel like there could possibly be a water sign and an earth sign in this reading. But in the tower, I feel like in this, in this, in the recent past, was more like like some type of a major revelation or a major, like a powerful realization in the past for them. Possibly about a third party. So let's look at what's on their mind. What they have on their mind is despair or sabotage, right? Depending what side of the sword they're on. Why do they have the five of swords? The fool cards in the reverse. I feel like your person has fear here. The high priestess again. Wow. I feel like what's on their mind is they think you're going to take a leap of faith, maybe with a Pisces or a Scorpio. There's way to, I mean, for somebody's dealing here with the water sign. One, two, three, four water, you know, water cards here. Yeah. So let's look at the near future for you and your person. Why is that magician there? For your person, rather. The Six of Cups or somebody from the past here. Six of Wands. And your person could be, uh, I mean, they could be worried about you, like, doing this, but they could be doing this as well. They could, yeah, they could really be doing this. So let's see what else we have. Three of Swords. Near future, it looks like there's a third party here in the near future. There could be heartbreak, right? There could be. There's three of swords. I mean, the swords are through the heart. So we know that could be heartbreak. 
uh, on some level there could be some hope or inspiration. Yeah, guys, in case you know you're listening to this, cross watching, and it sounds you know terrible, because the doves are here, and that's what they mean: hope and inspiration, and faith. And faith is hope. Yeah, faith. When I was a little kid, I go, "Why do they call it faith?" <laughs> when I used to be in church, I go, "Why do you know faith is hope?" Right? It's like hope for the future. I have faith for you know, faith for a good future. So this is what's in their near future. Somebody from the past, a manifestation, victory, and I feel like a third party. Yeah. And you. Strength card. Just pull that out. I feel like this is you here. This could be them having their courage. Could be. Let's look at their concern. Why do they have the page of wands? This reading could be vice versa. Page of Wands, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. Okay, I'm saying you're, this is your person doing this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're thinking about ending it. I feel like they are, but this reading could still go back, right? Back and forth. And let's get a card here. The Hermit card. There's a Virgo, I feel like, in this reading, Leo. Yeah. Because the King and the Queen of Pentacles is here. And this turtle could possibly be, uh, for some reason, he kind of did, I feel like he can remind me of an earth sign because he is slow and steady. And that's what earth signs are. So let's look at their, uh, their environment with the queen of pentacles and the hermit. We know the, the hermit, the Virgo, can be the queen of pentacles, right? So let's see what's in there. They could be soul searching here. Uh, I feel like they are on some level, though. Two of pentacles, king of swords. Yeah, I feel like they are on some level. And why do they have this Hermit card? Ace of Pentacles. There is a water sign here. You see that? Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, right here. So in their environment, they are manifesting something. They could simply be soul-searching about it. I feel like your person is manifesting something new, and they are thinking about ending the situation. So we're going to find out uh, all about them. Yes, we are. We're going to call them out for you, Leo. Yeah, we are, and see what they are up to here. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's going to be an interesting reading, right? They're all super affordable. We're going to find out what they really want, their desire, mm -hmm. and we're going to find out their outcome, how they really feel, the block between you guys, what they could be hiding, right? I want to see that. Uh, what you don't know about them, definitely, what they fear, and the future between you both. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me today. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and if you need your own reading, you can always get one, all right?